I'm using 13 size bolts, 13 millimeters or half, half inch. First, I'm going to go all the way to the right. Then I'm going to crisscross backwards. I'm not going to go all hard and strong. I could get it tighter, but I don't want to. It can't go that tight. I'm only tying it as far as it can go. Not as far as I can get it by using my strength. Only as far as it go. Which is right there. I do mine by the sense of feel. But the pounds for this, for the head bolts, is 12 to 16. Which, if you, you'll know if you over tightening the bolt or not. Because you're using all your strength and you pressing down. You, uh, uh, you don't want to do that. You just want to be easy with it. Like right there, that's good enough. That's good enough right there. That's good enough right there. That's good enough. Then another thing, you want to make sure your head gasket is flat. Once when you look at it sideways, you can see if there's a gap or not. Like, there's no gap. So I'm good. I'm good to go. And also when you start it up, you can rub your hand around the head. And if you feel some air, that means you got an air leak. You need to tighten down your head a little better than that. Sometimes you might got to add a few washers on either side to make it tighter. Next, we're going to put the spark plug in by hand okay I did that too easy let me take it back out because a lot of people script their heads out you don't want to use a tool to try to this is the spark plug tool right here you don't want to put it in up first and then try to tighten it down out hard Cause you might cross thread it and I've seen a lot of people who did it you want to do it by hand wiggle it in there make it flat and twist twist it by hand it should be easy it shouldn't be hard if it's hard that means you cross thread it and it's not right you need to back it back out and tighten it back in I like to use this instead of this tool right here these don't last long to me I like to use this. This steel, I guess. It's aluminum. I want to tighten it. I unloosen my head because I know I don't got my other piston clip enough. Okay, next. You see this little gold piece? They can come off. Just ease it. Ease your vice grip on up. It's screwing off. This way it'll be able to fit in that CDI cap. You can look inside your spark plug and you'll know which ones can screw off. If it got like a hole in it, that mean it can come off. 
But if it don't got a hole in it, that mean it can't come out. You got the wrong kind of spark plug. You take this gold piece off so this cap can fit inside, fit on it perfectly. Next, you want to hook your CDI up. You know, have it clean. You no, know, you don't want to have it too low by your exhaust all again on it. I like to have mine wired down. You no, know, it's just me. Blue wire goes to the blue wire. Common sense. Black wire goes to the black wire. Kill switch. You don't want no wires loose. You don't want nothing loose. So get zip ties. I might zip tie mine for like. I'm gonna zip tie it like that. Yeah, I'll just get you some zip ties and zip tie all these wires down to to your frame. With the kill switch, if you got one like this, it don't matter what color it goes to. 